once a week for three hours. The Jewish community pantry. Ten people kosher in the trunk. Fills cars with groceries. It's my first time. Usually I don't do it, but times is harder now than normal. Harder than normal due to the pandemic. As people are struggling financially, it certainly affects their ability to get food and get as much food as they need. The lines were long back in April when we first visited the pantry and lines remain steady today. Over the past three to four weeks, the pantry director says they've seen an increase of about 20% more people coming to get food. It's a trend she says doesn't surprise her. There's just seems to be a greater need now more than ever and as MPS you know is going to be virtual and people are preparing to have their kids longer home for a longer period of time. Antoinette Winston takes care of her 11 grandchildren. So what makes you have to come here and, and get food? To make sure I get them fed and then I have a niece that got kids you know I make sure she got food in her house. The pantry director says government benefits expiring soon could also explain the recent increase. Feeding America estimates 17 million additional people could become food insecure during this pandemic, which is why the Jewish Community Pantry will keep this drive through going. We're preparing to do this and winterize and be ready to serve everyone and let them stay in their cars through the winter. Okay, All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you. In Milwaukee, Hannah Hill, your WISN 12 News. The Jewish Community Pantry says they're in need of volunteers and products that can be tough to find during the pandemic, such as hand sanitizer and toilet paper.